Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, the graying of Chicago. Chicago is growing old faster than some other big cities. In the next 20 years, the number of people over age 65 will soar 65 percent to 1.7 million, triggering a shift in the local economy not seen since the end of World War II. The demographic change will have major implications on just about every industry, from housing to health care to retail and restaurants. Some companies already are rushing to prepare as baby boomers start reaching retirement age this year. Kraft is one of them, redesigning products like Maxwell House coffee and Miracle Whip dressing with the aging population in mind. One of the challenges we have with dexterity that is as consumers age, there is an increase in the prevalence of arthritis and a decrease in hand motor function. One in five or 20 percent of the adults in the U.S. report having had a doctor diagnose uh, uh, issue with arthritis and approximately half of adults over 65 have arthritis. So our hopes are to be able to develop packages that can deal with those consumers challenges. Glass jars have been replaced by plastic. They're easier to open and there will be fewer larger words and logos on the packaging. This is just one example John Pletz wrote about in this week's special report in the print edition of Cranes, and we sat down to talk more about his story. So, John, great piece this week. One of the most striking comments, in my opinion, was that our economic growth comes from both growth in the labor force and in productivity, both of which are expected to see a drop in growth over the next 20 years as baby boomers start to retire. We're going to be seeing a major brain drain in the city of Chicago, in corporate Chicago, right? You're going to see a drain everywhere. And, you know, the, the boomers have, uh, have kind of driven the story um, throughout their careers. And at this point, you know, they're, they're going to be late in their careers and they're going to be leaving the workforce. And that's going to have some huge impacts. So what kind of, of impacts will that have on, on the industries in Chicago? What can companies do or are they already doing to prepare for their retirement? Well, I think a lot of companies have, have done succession planning and, and have started to identify the next generation of leadership. Um, I think what they're, they're going to struggle with in the years to come is losing uh, key portions of, of experienced workers that are going to depart in large numbers. And you're, and you're going to lose some institutional memory and some knowledge that, that's valuable. And in many ways, that's a really hard uh, thing to quantify. But as they start uh, hitting the door, you know, they're going to feel that. You talked about, you know, the real estate industry is possibly being a, a potential, you know, loser in, in all of this. Healthcare industry clearly has the potential to be a big winner here as, as they'll need more medical services as this population ages. What are other companies and other industries doing to prepare? In our introduction, we mentioned Kraft and how they're innovating their products. What are other companies doing? Well, the, I think all the companies are looking at following, you know, the biggest chunk of their, uh, their customer base. Automakers clearly um, are looking to develop vehicles that uh, are a little are a little more user friendly. Now they're user friendly to uh, to people over 65 or uh, or seniors, but they also make them user friendly uh, to other customers as well. So in many cases, I think companies um, that are doing some product innovation that they need to to make sure they keep up with an aging customer base also find that it helps them uh, win some other customers as well. So John, you did such comprehensive reporting uh, for this special report. What were your sources telling you the city, its companies, its communities should be doing to prepare for this change, to make sure that, frankly, our economy does not suffer from this big demographic shift? Well, the communities are, are going to need to look at things like housing and transportation uh, to make sure that, uh, for instance, there's enough rental housing for those who who choose rental as an option as they age or to have the transportation they need to, that they'll need to get where uh, they have to go. And, you know, the companies are going to need to do two things. They need to adapt their products um, and their workforces to adapt to, uh, to an aging boomer uh, population. But they also need to uh, increasingly look to emerging markets to not be quite so dependent on, on uh, you know, the uh, boomers in the U.S. All right, John, great story this week. Thanks so much. Thanks. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Be sure to read John's story and check out all of the terrific graphics that go with it in this week's print edition of Cranes and on ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.